Will we ever see A Dream of Spring? The last planned book in George R. R. Martin's A Song of Ice and Fire series. It might seem like a bit of a strange question, given we're still, after over a decade later, have not yet seen The Winds of Winter. But given George's progress, and some information coming out of his publishers, it seems like winds may soon be on the horizon. Additionally, some sources that I do trust when it comes to these rumours are optimistic 2024 might finally be the year. I personally will not be believing it completely till I'm physically holding a copy of the book, but this idea of winds of winter coming out soon, and George recently talking about his long-term plans for the expanded universe on his blog, got me thinking about the likelihood of us ever actually getting the final book. A dream for spring. This isn't normally a subject I like to talk about because at the end of the day, the question you're asking is, is George R. R. Martin going to live long enough to finish the books? I have just always felt uncomfortable discussing the death of someone I admire in the context of such a debate about him finishing the books. While it's okay to be unhappy and disgruntled about the idea of the series never being finished, I often feel a lot of videos and online discussions forget this very important human factor that at the end of the day, we're speculating about the future death of a person. It's no wonder George himself gets disgruntled when repeatedly being asked questions along these lines. Let's be honest, most people feel a tad uncomfortable with it. But here's the harsh reality of the situation as it stands. George R. R. Martin is not a young man, and given how long it's taken him to write The Winds of Winter, and the growing gaps between each of his book releases, only being compounded by his multitude of side projects and TV commitments, I think it's understandable to question the logistical side of George completing another book anytime soon after The Winds of Winter does come out. Let's say, for example, Winds of Winter comes out in 2024 and it takes him another 10 years to finish A Dream of Spring. Well, George would be about 85 years old when he finished that book. Now, that number might not seem as unreasonable as you might think. I can name many authors who are still writing well into their 90s, so there is a solid chance George could be among them. But the sheer reality of the situation is the older George gets and the longer it takes him to actually write the books, statistically, the odds of seeing a dream for spring fall drastically. The maths just isn't working in his favour with this. But this subject matter is very complicated. We have to make a lot of speculative assumptions in terms of the amount of work George has to do and how long it will take him to do it. It's understandable why people assume it will take another 10 years for him to finish the final book, given his track record with The Winds of Winter. There are, however, surprisingly, a relatively large section of the fans online who believe that it won't take George near as long as 10 years to finish the final book. The concept is, the reason he has struggled with The Winds of Winter for so long was he needed to get all the characters where they needed to be for the ending to happen. Something that only got harder and harder the larger the scale of the book got and the more characters were introduced. I think with the abandoning of the proposed five year time jump after A Storm of Swords, it's clear that George began to struggle with bringing the story together and getting the characters where they needed to be without that time skip. The idea is, Wins is George getting his pieces in place for the final book. Therefore, he might have an easier time writing the final book with all the setup now in place thanks to Wins. You also have to consider that George has had this ending in mind for decades. That aspect alone might allow for a swifter writing process. Whenever these ideas get brought up for discussion, they very quickly get shot down for wishful thinking. However, in the context of this discussion, I think it's fair to bring up these ideas and let you, the viewer, make up your own mind. In this case, I do believe George will have an easier time writing Dream, thanks to getting all the pieces in place during wins, and the fact that he's had time to think about this ending for many years. However, I do not think it's going to have this huge impact on the time scale of his writing that these fans are hoping for. Another factor we have to consider is the pressure for spin-off material for HBO to adapt. As of now, according to his blog posts, George plans to finish writing The Winds of Winter and A Dream for Spring before working on books like Fire and Blood Part 2. And while that may be the plan, well, plans change. And history shows George's plans change frequently. 
The whole reason Fire and Blood exists in the first place was to give HBO enough spin-off content to make shows with a written story from start to finish, to avoid the issues Game of Thrones had post season 5. As much as I love Fire and Blood, it's fair to say this ultimately extended the wait for the Winds of Winter. If it's happened once before, there's no reason why it could happen again. I could very much see a series of events where House of the Dragon ends in Dance of the Dragons era, and maybe wants to jump forward into Fire and Blood Part 2 territory, a Black Fire Rebellion for example, wherein, in this scenario, George is convinced to pause work on A Dream for Spring, to finish Fire and Blood Part 2, or some other spin-off book. While this is obviously a negative thing, for the sake of transparency, George has stated in the past that taking some time away from the Winds of Winter to work on Fire and Blood did help reignite his love of writing and helped him work through some of the issues he was having with Winds. It is possible a similar situation could happen when it comes to A Dream of Spring, should George have similar issues writing it. Now, I personally believe the most likely scenario is that George R. R. Martin will make a decent start on A Dream of Spring, but I would not be surprised at all if he never actually finishes it. Now, here is the issue. We know George's wishes, as far as we know, are he doesn't want anyone else to finish the story. There's even this rumour that's been going around for years that he has it in his will that all his notes are to be burned to stop anyone from doing it. However much of that is actually true, we cannot know, and it's very much possible that he's changed his view on that as well. But even if it's not George's choice to have someone finish his story, at the end of the day, money talks. I believe if George has enough of a dream for spring finished, his publishers will push for someone else to edit and finish the story using George's notes as a framework. It's happened before within the fantasy genre, and if there's enough money to be made, I can see the same happen here, even if it's against George's wishes. Another compromise is that they release what he has written alongside a collection of perhaps his notes or plans for the rest of the story. While it's not a finished book, at least this way there is some kind of ending, and no one else has to step into George's shoes to finish the story. Maybe even a hybrid approach of these ideas is possible. I think it is likely, given it's the final book, that George is going to have copious amounts of notes dating back years years for what he intends the direction of the story to be. A scenario I see that could work is they publish a version of the book that contains everything George had written for it, then bringing in someone else to fill in the missing pieces, using his notes and overseeing editing to make it consistent between the two authors. There is no perfect answer to this, but there are many, many ways events could play out. Hell, George might even surprise us all and knock the book out in record time, as ludicrous as that sounds right now. I love the world George has created, and as time ticks by, I know it's more and more unlikely we get the ending of the story the way he wanted to do it. I really hope he can find a way to get it all done, or at least in a state where the fans know how the story ends, in a better way than the show managed. I'm open to any ways to help him make that happen, but regardless, it would be disappointing not to get that one final book. At the end of the day, I'm just grateful we have what we do already and thank George for this deep and rich world he's created. And while speculating about the possibility of a dream for spring is an interesting thought experiment, right now I'm just hoping that one day soon I'll be sat in my office with some snacks, some tea, in a comfy chair and a copy of The Winds of Winter in my hands. Mm -hmm.